betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. We're on the latter part of the race meeting now. It's race number six. Uh, the last three races on the card could be a nice way to end it off for you. Uh, choosing the winning pick three, races six, seven, and eight. It's a merited 68 handicap, 1,400 meters the distance. And uh, at the time of recording, there are no scratching, so all nine runners will go to post. Uh, when we bring up the field, I'll give you betting on horses in single figures. Number one, it's seven to one. Horse number two at 11 to two, three at nine to two. And then we got a 15 to 10 shot here, Ryle. Number six, Brave Voyager. And it's double figures, the balance. I think that could be uh, the, the horse that we're gonna begin with, Brave Voyager. Uh, a five-year-old, a three-time winner, has won on the poly track once. I see Richard Faree hasn't partnered him before. Richard is still looking for his first winner of the season for Dennis Bosch, but he hasn't had chances from the yard. But on this meeting, he's got three good chances to possibly, you know, get on the board with Dennis Bosch. Because if you look at most trainers here in KZN Rail, uh, I think, uh, you know, there'll be very few, if any, that Richard hasn't had a winner for. But one of them is Dennis Bosch. And all the trainers around the country, you know, wherever they can give him a chance, they're all vying for him to get uh, to that target. And personally, I think that that target is well in sight now. He's, he's going he's gonna to win and win very easily and get to that target. That million rand is in his pocket, barring injury or uh, suspension or yeah. you know, anything untowards. I, I personally, t I'll tell you on the show, he, he'll get to that target with a one month to go. Sure, you that confidence. Yeah, he'll get to, he'll set a, a record. I think he knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's just it's just been calculated, and you now now he's really pressing on the, the pedal. You know, yeah. from my you know jockey agent days, and I know what goes on behind the scenes. He's just pressing it. He, he doesn't want that last month to be anything that. And the last month is the biggest month. Yeah, it's like I I say that he'll get it done before the month is over. That month will just be used to set a new record because you don't want to be leaving anything last minute. You actually want to enjoy the Hollywood Bridge Derby in July, moving into the Gold Cup, and that whole week yeah. is a big week bringing down the curtain, a lot of feature races. And once you get that off your, the, that monkey off your back, then you can just possibly concentrate on all those big feature races in the last month. But uh, yeah, well done to him. I mean, as I said, you know, fingers crossed and God willing and barring injury and suspension, uh, he'll break that record effortlessly. And uh, maybe he can have a winner here for Dennis Bosch to add to the tally. Perhaps he could break the eyes for Dennis Bosch. Obviously, lim limited chances for Dennis and, and Richard, but um, they team up here. And uh, this horse is holding form quite nicely. He's seldom far off the action. He's, uh, he's an honest sort. He's, uh, he's earning for connections, and he's earning his way through training. He does return off, off a two-month layoff, but um, I'm sure that Dennis will have him in, in good space and, and ready to hit the ground running. 1,400 meters, slight concern for me. I think he's better over, over a mile. But uh, I certainly believe he, he could run a nice race. And I'm going to go with number three, Ultra Quick, as, uh, as uh, my top selection here, Dees. Now, I went for him in his penultimate start. I was disappointed by that effort. I thought he'd run a lot better. He was beaten seven lengths behind Rodriguez well, over the mile. distance that day? I think maybe it was the distance that stretched him a bit. And then last time out, he was thrown in the deep end against a lot stronger company. And um, he was beaten five lengths behind Champompo Champizi. Now, that was an MR90, this is an MR68, so he's significantly down in class, and the handicap has dropped him three more points, plus he gets a one and a half kgs off the back, so he's effectively racing off a mark of 69, which brings him into contention in a big way here, because he's dropped from a mark of, what's it, 99, and if he just reproduces some of his earlier form, I think he'd, he'd be a major contender. 1,400 meters, a distance that I'm not concerned about, I think he'll, he'll only hold his own over the strip, and... From a three draw, he should get a nice run in transit, and I think the race could uh, map out ideally for the son of Karari. And maybe he just needs a bit of a confidence booster. 928 days since he last won a race, but the ability is certainly there. He just needs to put it all together. And on this mark of uh, what it could be 69 with the one and a half cages off the back, I think he could be a massive player at around nine to two in the market. So he's going to be the each way 
selection for me and the top uh, top choice here. But obviously, you've got to have healthy respect for a horse like Brave Voyager and um, even a horse like Preemptive Strike. If he brings back some of his earlier form back on the surface, he could be absolutely lethal. His last three starts have been on the turf, and it's clear to see he's a, he's a far better poly horse. Well, I think that Ryle has read the race just the way I have. Uh, the two runners that he's picked out, are numbers three and six, are the right horses for the place accumulator, are the right horses for the bar pot, and maybe it could be the play for the pick six as well. You want to try and minimize your spend, try and uh, you know narrow your selections down. That will be a big win for you if you just include numbers three and six and you manage to get through. But once you look past them, and good luck, racing fans, because I think it's an absolute nightmare. Uh, you don't want to be leaving houses out that are at the bottom of the betting boards that can give you the result that you want in order to drop tickets here. Because with nine runners going to post, I think uh, you can include the field if you're not in the camp of numbers three and six. But both Ryle and I are, are you know, in the camp of number three ultra quick as a possible value in the race at the time of recording at 9 to 2 considering his rating drop but no doubt uh, the horse that's at the top of the betting boards looks like the right horse in the field and Richard Free trying to have his first winner for the season for trainer Dennis Boss and the horse's name is Brave Voyager. It's Donovan Everett here from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.